What if ChatGPT could remember everything that mattered to you? I'm talking about all of the important stuff. How much of a difference would that make in your experience with ChatGPT? I'm willing to bet that it will make a huge difference because we don't fail because of a lack of ideas. We fail because we forget. We fragment and we lose the thread. And somehow we lose that inspiration that came along with that moment. So if you feel like you haven't been getting everything out of ChatGPT that you should, make sure you stick around and watch this video because I'm going to give you seven real world use cases that you can use right now with ChatGPT in my new memory system. And to tell you the truth, they could absolutely change your life. There's this book about building a second brain that's about, you know, remember everything, achieve anything. And basically it's about creating a tagging system that allows you to remember those great ideas and those eureka moments. Well, you don't have to use productivity tools or tagging systems inside of your smartphone or any other device now because you can do all of that inside of ChatGPT projects. And I have a video that I put out a couple of days ago that I'll link to right here that goes in great detail about how to set that up. But imagine opening up ChatGPT and having a conversation about any topic that you've set up a project around. You run a very simple prompt that you copy and paste every day and it automatically turns all of your key insight all of the data in that conversation into data that an AI can read easily and it also places tags on that data so that in the future when you're having conversations with ChatGPT it not only goes to the data that's stored in your account but it also goes and reads the data that's stored in the file that you upload and that you keep updated on a daily basis because we're no longer held by the constraints of what OpenAI decides to give us when it comes to memory. We can create our own memory file and over the years as that file grows, it's still a very tiny thing, but it packs a very large punch. Even if you lose access to your ChatGPT account, or even if you decide to stop using ChatGPT, you can take this small itty bitty memory file that has years of knowledge and understanding that you've developed and upload it on another platform and pick up right where you left off without missing a beat. That's the power of this system. Let's say that there is a topic that you're passionate about and you're always talking about and you really want to share your ideas with the world. And one thing that you've thought about doing is writing a book, create a chat GPT project around that particular topic. And then all you have to do is start having conversations about that topic on a daily basis or whenever you use chat GPT, take that conversation about that topic, drag it into the project, run your prompt, ChatGPT is going to take that conversation on a daily basis and turn those memories into data with tags. And then one day you're going to have so many memories, so many data points that you've created, that you've stored through your genuine insights, your research and your data that you're going to be able to say, ChatGPT, I'm ready to write a book about fill in the blank and create a comprehensive table of contents. Then after you look at the table of contents, you can start walking through the chapters and telling ChatGPT to organize your thoughts into those chapters. And then you can sit down and write your book and get it done faster than probably anybody. But this is the one difference. Your book is not going to have been written by AI. Your book will have been written by you because these are your ideas saved verbatim or as a short snippet. But either way, this is your content. These are your thoughts. These are your feelings. And AI is just taking what you've said, taking the ideas that you've shared and cataloging them so that you can save them in a data file that the AI can read and understand easily to help you achieve your goal. Or let's say that you're trying to grow your audience on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. Then all you have to do is download all of your content, transcribe your videos, upload those transcripts to ChatGPT, or you can use Google Gemini because it has a larger context window and you want to get it done faster. But you run a simple prompt that's going to tag all of your content, all of your ideas as it flows through this process. And then you save it into a file. And this becomes a knowledge base of everything that you've ever taught, everything that you've ever shared, and it's your strategies. And so maybe you find yourself in a rut one day and you're like, I don't know what to post. Give me some inspiration from my memory file. And ChatGPT can pull from your own 
own memories to remind you of what you should be doing. It can bring back insights, strategies, and decisions you've made to put you back on the right track to remind you of things that you forgot about. This could be a great way for you to repackage old content or to make sure that you're always creating something new by running your ideas by ChatGPT and saying, make sure that this is fresh and different from all of the old content that I've created so that I'm always moving forward and I'm never going backwards. Now, this next example is not a new use case, but this memory system does make this use case a little bit more helpful. And that's the people who use ChatGPT for therapy. If you have a memory system, when you have those moments of clarity, then you will have a tagging system in place that can tag those moments and say a year from now, you can say, chat GPT, I want you to share with me all of the moments of clarity that I had around it's YZ, whatever problem you've been dealing with. And ChatGPT can remind you of the emotional journey that you've been on over the last 12 months. The way things are set up right now with ChatGPT memory, it's not going to remember 12 months of memory. But with long-term memory protocol, it will absolutely be able to remember it. All you have to do is run a simple prompt every single day and save the data. It's just that simple. And one day when you fully healed and that situation is behind you and you're ready to tell your story and you want to make certain that you share the most valuable insights that you possibly can with people so that you can help them in their healing journey so that you can give them every advantage possible. You'll be able to go to chat GPT and say, hey, what were the critical moments and lessons that I learned along the way that helped me to heal the quickest, that gave me the greatest leverage overcoming this and chat GPT is going to go into that file that you've been updating every day and it's going to immediately tell you exactly what those things were. And so with that use case, you're not just journaling, you're tracking your inner life and you can look at the development and get a wide angle lens view of your own personal growth. Another use case that we touched on in the beginning when we spoke about authors and writing fiction and nonfiction is world building. So let's say that you're creating a story and you have a backstory for your villain, but you're writing and you forgot about it. You could just ask ChatGPT, hey, what's the backstory for my villain? And so if you're working on a story and you have a good idea, you never have to worry about losing a thread again because all you have to do is make certain that when you have that moment, share it with ChatGPT so it can log it, tag it, and you can store it away forever. This next use case might be a little bit controversial, but have you ever needed to prove something but you didn't have the evidence? And the person that comes to my mind is Aaron Brockovich. And so maybe you're in a situation not exactly that dramatic, but it's something similar. And you want to make sure that you're keeping a very tight log of everything that's taking place. Maybe it's something that's happening at work. Well, all you have to do, start a project in ChatGPT and then start telling ChatGPT what happened, who said it, et cetera. And if you're using my system, it's going to log every memory with a date and a timestamp. It's also going to log it with the relevant tags and it's going to log exactly what you tell it. It's going to log what happened so that when it comes time, maybe six months or even a year from when the small little incidents began, you have everything tracked. You have a very clear, accurate timeline of the discrimination, the harassment, the hostility, or whatever else you're dealing with in the workplace or in any legal environment. Now, the last use case is probably my favorite, but that's to use ChatGPT projects in this long-term memory system as a searchable spiritual journal. Whenever I'm having an idea about something in the Bible or a new understanding begins to come to light, sometimes I'll pull out my Bible study tools because I do have several books that I've read over the years and study as far as learning how to interpret the Bible. I have the introduction to biblical interpretation. This is a great textbook. Daniel Wallace's Greek grammar beyond the basics. I have a Greek New Testament and I have a Hebrew Old Testament. I'm qualified to study the scriptures, but AI is still helpful. And so maybe you're a professional in some other field and a lot of people around you are 
purists and they feel as though using AI is cheating. And I'll be honest with you, it is a cheat code. But if you're a professional, if you already have the background, you've already put the years in, you've studied, you've gone to school, you already have that knowledge and that foundation, then there's nothing wrong with you using AI, especially this system that I've created to help you to speed up the process. And so if I'm studying or I'm praying and I come across a passage or something drops in my heart and I want to make certain that I save it. A couple of years ago, I would have wrote it down somewhere and it would have been in a journal sitting in the closet collecting dust. But now I can have it inside of my chat GPT project where I can interact with it on a daily basis and chat GPT using my long term memory protocol system can surface those relevant insights at the appropriate time so that I don't lose them because sometimes I pull my notes out and I'm like, man, this was good, but I haven't thought about this in years. And that's the problem with the old way of saving notes on documents and even in our phones and notes and other apps. They don't surface at the right time and we need someone to remind us of these things. ChatGPT combined with the memory system that I share in the other video is a great way to keep those great ideas front of mind at the right time. This is not an exhaustive list of all the use cases that you can use that memory system for. There are so many more that I didn't touch on, but a general rule of thumb is this. If you can create a chat GPT project around an idea, then long-term memory is going to be critical to that project success, or it's going to amplify the results that you were already going to get. And if you choose to use this memory system with any projects where you're going to be sharing personal or sensitive data on a daily basis, then I highly recommend that you click on your profile File, go to settings, go to security, and then turn on multi-factor authentication. This is going to require you to pass a security challenge when you're logging in. This way you can log out when you're done with ChatGPT. And if you lose your phone, you don't have to worry about somebody going inside of your chats and getting all of your personal information because you might not think so today, but a year from now, three years from now, how much personal information is actually going to be stored inside of your ChatGPT account? If you got value out of the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe so that you don't miss any of the advanced AI strategies that I'm sharing to help you grow your business. And as always, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.